Hello, screen friends. Today, we're going to be trying something incredibly dumb. If you're looking at this very cute bunny rabbit here, you're probably thinking, Sally, this guy doesn't have a gun. You would be correct about that. He doesn't have a gun, but he does have a weapon. That's because I'm going in with a tonfa based off a comment that I got yesterday. In it, they said the tofu stick. Now, I'm assuming that was autocorrect rearing its head because I went through all the melee options, so there's nothing even close to the tofu sticks. The only thing I can think of is the tonfa. Comment also said I need to pack it to level two. Well, we can take care of one right off the rip because I got a schematic for Ethereum Crystal. I've got all my other fancy energy drinks here. We're going to make it rare. We're going to drop in and we're going to see just how many zombies I can kill. Not just zombies. How many bosses I can take on with this single tonfa and this very cute fuzzy wuzzy bunny rabbit. I don't know why I'm doing this guy. I don't know why I'm putting my fate in the hands of someone who had autocorrect misspell tonfa, but let's hope these tofu sticks are actually good. Let me just drink all my fancy things because I'm going to need to. First of all, brought the crystal. It's now been packed to level one. What is this? Just drink it quick, please. Let's make it better. All right, zombie, what's up? I mean, obviously I know that they're gonna die quick. Oh, wow. I was curious if it changed your melee speed and oh my God, this is already insane. Did you drop me plates though? Because I feel like I'm gonna, plates are gonna be at a premium. Ammo, not gonna need that this game. By the way, I have no other gun. Hiya! First order of business. We're gonna need to pack this thing a bunch of times. So we're gonna go over and do some cargo deliveries. Speed runs as I like to call them. And we're just gonna take out a couple of these guys on the way because I'm just I'm trying to get the hang of this thing. How cool would it be if you could execute zombies? This guy's up here with an actual sniper rifle, or is that a mercenary? It's a mercenary shooting at me. You can't hit me though, I'm too fast. Uh, the movement is unlike any other with this tonfa. I wanna see what it looks like in third person when I kill somebody. I don't feel as fast running this way, but look at this little bunny slide cancel. We're gonna take the zip line all the way up. Man, third person is really fun. Should I do an entire video in third person? You guys tell me. Like and subscribe for yes, don't do that for no. Ha, <laughs> you just got finessed into subscribing. Let's go. We go in here, we do the beeps, we do the bops, and we do the beep bop boop bop. Now let me make sure I don't accidentally take this shit into the red zone like I always do. Throw that over that away. We open the door this way. That garage opened up. And now I steal their car. Now I'm not even gonna mess around with the zombies in tier two right now because it's too early in the video for me to die. But if I can indeed kill any boss in like five hits, they might be onto something. I'm curious though, because like we've done the P90, right? When you pack a punch that up, even just to the first level, I think you get 400 bullets. It's something absurd. And the P90 was a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, which got me thinking about the fact that maybe they didn't quite give enough attention to the Modern Warfare 2 guns when they integrated them into the zombies mode. And so now I'm wondering what other things are broken. I Look, if the tofu sticks are as good as everyone has been telling me, when I say everyone, I mean literally one person in the comments that I read last onto and made a video about. I feel like there's gonna be some merit to that. Now, I'm gonna go bowling, because why not? Maybe I get a dog this game too, hey? All right, we're gonna try it on level three. Oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't get anything good. Juggernog, self-revive kit. Oh, actually, yeah, the last time I passed up a self-revive kit, I really, really needed it later. There's another one. We go that way and hope my car makes it. I saw a lot of cash registers in here. Let's go loot them. Cash is gonna be at a premium. There's a quick 200. I know I'm getting 3,000 for doing these, Ooh, I need to do this for a challenge. I need to activate three of them in order to complete another thing in act one. Back to the vehicle we go. I would personally like it if you could pack a punch a vehicle. More specifically, if I could pack a punch the turret on this vehicle. I think that would be a lot of fun. But unfortunately, Sledgehammer and Treyarch know better than to put me in charge of stuff like that. So it's likely just never going to happen. We loot the cash register real quick. We hit this, we do the beeps, I do the bops, and then we all scream the BOOM! I continue stealing from local merchants, and then we get in the car, and then go back. Oh, another circuit turret. As the late great Mario says, the one not voiced by Chris Pratt. Here we go! Decoy. I'm actually gonna go over here. I should have done this before I threw it, but... I need more decoys. At least until I pack this to a second level. There's one more for the road. Hope you guys like it. I'll be taking that, thank you. Away we go. I'm getting pretty good at these speed runs. Watch the sky. There's an helicopter on your tail. Oh, no, it's not on my tail. It's actually in front of me. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about a very important wrinkle for this video, and it's not anything you're going to see on screen. It's something you might hear while I'm playing. If you see me looking down, it is not because I have some random third monitor that has some unknown zombies hacks on it. It's because I put my son down to sleep like an hour and 15 minutes ago. So if he cries and I have to go get him, this is all for nothing. Ba -ba. Give me a schematic. Large rock set. Mortar, mortar strike. I almost accidentally dropped my juggernaut. Let's also do a test here. How fast do I run with my tonfa out versus how fast do I run with my mortar strike out? 
Mortar strike actually feels faster. Good to know. One more right there. Punch Deliver cargo. Then as soon as we're done with this, we can pack it to level two and then we can start having fun. I gotta say, packed level one right now, it's not feeling that great. Like, I don't feel super confident going around and like doing things. I only have one plate too, so hopefully this goes quick. Hiya! Thanks for the vehicle, I'm out of here. Trying to make sure I wasn't taking this thing to the red zone because if you've been watching these videos, which a lot of you have, thank you by the way, I'm very good at accidentally going to places where I'm very unequipped to go. Like, for instance, this large pedestrian foyer. I don't remember if it was foyer or foyer, but I think I'm doing okay right now. I gotta say, it is a very weird feeling to go into a game of zombies, or just any game really, and not have a gun. Like, not even, not even a single thing. Let's see, what's the best way to reach this one? I should be getting good at these since I do like nine each game, but sometimes, you know, I just can't remember. There she blows. That's right, and I gotta squeeze it through this tiny little thing. Hi, boys. Stamina up. I could really use that. I can probably end up dropping that speed cola because I have a, a thing for it. Now, what do you have for me? Oh boy, plates, love that. Thought about picking up the gun, but no, this is like, this is the digital manifestation of a trust fall. Is what we're doing in this game. I mean, there's no way there's another deliver the cargo right here, right? I am right next to a pack a punch machine. In fact, it's right on the way. So I feel like I should pick this up. We do the beeps, the bops, the boops. We pack it. Then we go figure out just how good this thing actually is. Ah, yeah. Away we go. I am about to pack a punch. A melee weapon. It has been done. Oh. It now, now let's see how good it is in third person. <laughs> it just looks so funny in third person. I mean, they die real quick. But if I get mobbed by a horde of them then I'm in trouble. Like, like this horde that literally just spawned on top of me. Oh, you're so fast. <laughs> so fast with this. Decoy! No, you don't want me. Nope. All right, looks like we gotta take this one all the way back. I see that plea for help, and I would like to do something about it. Oh, they just got rezzed. Okay, thank you. That's like, that's a weight off my conscience. But I was gonna say, like, I just, I have a melee weapon. All right, kid's still asleep. I just had to have a look down there. Now, you may be sitting around asking yourself, Sally, why the hell are you just continuing to do deliver the cargo runs instead of, like, taking out a bounty like a grown-ass man should? You know, to that I would say fair. Like, it's a fair criticism of my current behavior. But also, I have a plan, okay? For the once in my life, I've actually thought this through, thought ahead. And it's because I want to take it in the red zone and pack a bunch of three times just because I think it'll be funny. I didn't say it was a mature plan or a good plan. I just, I just simply said I had a plan. Now, again, let's go bowling. Uncommon, I get an uncommon ether tool for that, that's it? It's actually kind of upsetting. Like, I'm, I'm upset about that. You know what, screw it, guys. Fine, I, I heard your heckling, okay? It hurt me deeply. But now we are gonna go and do a bounty contract. So we're gonna put this to the final test. Heavy to peer pressure, this juncture was honestly unwise because I have one plate. I don't know if I have any more decoys, so believe it or not, I'm gonna continue planning ahead. Stop here at this ammo cache and go get some. Bada bing. Steal that so I can get this packed in the red zone quicker. Now we get back in. My vehicle does whatever a vehicle can. Forward and reverse to go. That's the end of my song. And we're here. Any good things for me to loot before I do this? Hmm? Any cash laying around? Any armoire plates? Activity complete? Mer I did. I absolutely did nothing to do that, but okay. Suppose this is just one of those scenarios where you just gotta do it. You gotta do bops. You gotta do beeps. You gotta do the boops. I need that plate as well. Thank you. There's actually another plate in here. I think I want. Plates seem like something I'm really just gonna go through a lot of. I don't know if I have and that cash register. This is how I get sidetracked during games. I'm like, I need that, I need that, I need Ooh, what about that? Putting on this looter perk is like how ADD feels. I mean, I might as well, right? Just a bunny and his LTV. This is a serious moment of truth here, all right? This is like, do I trust the... It's a fucking disciple. I honestly don't know if... I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can. I'm, cance I'm canceling it. I, I failed the moment of truth. To collect the bounty... You have to hunt the target. Yeah, no shit, but I have a melee weapon, Barrera. Where are the other bounties? There's there's none. There's no orange zone bounties. Oh, there is, I lied. Huh. Marking contract. This is truly unlike any zombies experience that I've had so far. It's just completely bizarre to be running around not worrying about like, oh, do I have enough ammo? And instead of, do I have enough plates to melee 97 zombies together? Okay, beep bop boop boop for real this time, guys. Sorry about that. Does it work on mannequins? Maybe in third person? Nope. All right, good news, and I guess bad news. I mean, I, there's probably no good news when it comes to doing, like, a, a boss bounty 
with a melee weapon, but it's not a disciple. The reason I cancel that contract, by the way, is like disciples suck your health via line of sight. So with a gun, it's easy to be like, no, 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 I'm not gonna let you get me because I'm too far away. But with a melee weapon, obviously I think we can all see, unless you're like visually impaired, how that's a problem. Now let's go kill this target. mimic. I do not have eyes on my target, he's through a wall. Oh yeah, I do. What's up? Oh, mimic. Oh, can I go through those windows? I need you to come out to me. I don't- I want to fight you in the open. That hurt. Well, I'm being attacked by a horde of zombies, so... We're about to put it all to the oh test. My. Guys, this is- I don't like this. Five hits? Huh? I'm stuck! On a mimic! I don't even know what this guy's health is at, but... It's still- Oh. Okay. Can I shatter blast a melee weapon? Yes. Yes, you can. But also, I can almost die. That's not good. Don't- don't like that. Not a- not a big fan. Insta-kill? <laughs> that seems funny. I wonder if, like, packing it to level 3 is essentially an insta-kill. So guys, do we just, like... Do we go do that again? If I go do that deliver cargo and I find like a cash register or two, what is that flame gun over there, by the way? Did you see that? Then we have enough money to go into the red zone and actually do it. And if I get in trouble, I still have this juggernaut in my possession. But you guys have informed me through reading a lot of comments, basically a novel at this point, that yeah, you can kill the mega abomination with that in like 10 seconds. You make it sound so easy. Just like you made doing a cargo run in the red zone. Easy. I failed miserably last video. Yeah, it did not go well. Beep bop boo, I almost forgot. I'll, I'll take your car, thank you. I'm nervous, but also very excited at the same time. We have also just gotten, I'll just come out and say it, we have not gotten good things from doing these contracts so far. So I feel like we're due. And if all of you please could just either internally, externally, just chant schematic. I know I'm hard capped on some of the ones that I can get in tier two, which is, you know, why we're gonna go to tier three. But yeah, just say like a silent prayer for me if you would, because I can make these videos quicker. I can not worry about my sons waking up during the middle of the night because I already have my refined Ethereum crystal. It just saves you like 20 minutes. So yeah, we could get a schematic here if you guys have been good boys and girls. This is on you. Whether we get it or not is completely up to you guys at this point. Uh, we didn't. I'm not mad. I'm just incredibly disappointed. Now I'm gonna have to commit felonies. I'm gonna have to loot from this poor convenience store. Down on their luck, and you guys are making me steal from the cash registers. And this one, too. Look what you've done. Well, this was a good one. You guys ever think about how funny it is to, like, know that we're playing in a post-apocalyptic world, but somehow there's still, like, a thriving currency? And somehow, like, an underground economy of things? It just doesn't seem super realistic, but neither does going around killing mimics with a melee weapon, so... Who's to say, right? All right, let's go do another bounty, huh? Oh, but there's a nice crate right there, and I bet it has a schematic for me in it. Well, we better just go test it, right? We better check it. Wait, did I have something good? Not really. I will stow that just in case I need it, but I'm probably gonna drop this brain rot ammo because don't need that. What I do need is a gas station, and even though I'm generally an optimist, I would call this gas tank half empty. Also, wait, I'm in a car repair shop. Why can't they just fix it here? All right, everyone, please say a prayer that it's not a disciple again. It's a fucking disciple! You know what? Fuck it, right? Let's just try it. This will be the final test for how good this pack-a-punch melee weapon actually is. Can it destroy something that steals your health? I do have a self-revive left. That is good. This melee weapon appears to be... good. Good. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it great yet, but it's certainly good. But guys, if I survive this, if I survive this, we will then have enough money to go to the red zone. Now, let me set out this turret, because I think I might need help. Sentry deployed! Can I even reach this thing? We're gonna throw out that first. Hit him with that. Come here, you little shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. I mean, we didn't get anything good out of it, but like, that... Oh man. Okay. Well, you know where we gotta go now, right, boys and girls? Ladies and germs, screen friends, old and new. We go where very few dare to venture. Where's the pack-a-punch machine? I'd like to find that before I go in. It's not showing up. There it is. It's in a different spot. I kind of wish they had the pack-a-punches in the same exact spot every time. Am I crazy for that? And look, maybe this is me tempting fate and having no idea how to do things. 
but I would love to try to do a bounty in the red zone with this thing. Again, probably not a great idea. Don't really care. I'm probably gonna do it. I got one self-revive. Like, I can get out of trouble if I need to. I'll probably have a decoy. I have my mortar streak to run fast with. All in all, like... Also, this is about to be out of fuel, so we're gonna go to this car in the car repair shop. What do you know? Oh, boy, guys. I thought about it for a second there. I was like, do I really want to do this? And the answer was no, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, no. We have people down in here, too. I kind of feel morally obligated to go try to help them. Let me pack this first, though, so I can get out of Dodge. Fuck it. We'll just do it right now. Maybe they want to join my team. Wow, okay, I just killed whatever was running after them. And they, if I go down, they better fucking pick me back up. I'm doing this guy now, too. If they, I'm trying to invite him to my squad. Like, I, I really did there. I did those guys a solid. Also, I think they were doing, like, a jug. Not a jug. A bounty, and I just absolutely skull-fucked it. So let's go upstairs, if I can, very briefly, and pack a bunch of this thing. I did have to burn all my decoys by doing that. But now... <laughs> let's test this out, huh? Mm, does not feel sustainable. Like it all. Yeah, so about that. Are there ammo caches around here? Time to take out my mortar streak and just fucking sprint around. Plate, thank you. It's not letting me put on my plate. Can you not do it with the streak out? Oh, you can't. Well, I don't have another self-revive. I should honestly get out of here. But also, I want to try to activate this turret and just see how good they are. Every time I think I should leave, I think I just heard something bad. I just deposited all of them in this single turret, so... Oh. So I can just, like, stay by the t oh, This thing is nuts. Who are you seeing? I feel so safe next to this thing. Sorry, knocked again. Can these guys please just stop getting knocked? Oh, I think the play is to, like, bait all these zombies in and then take them to my lair. Watch them die. Oh, my turret's been shooting Orby. Can I take anything out of the turret? No, once they're in, they're in, hey. Look, I want to do this bounty contract. I do. Truly. Actually, someone took it. But I must go buy a self-revive first. I simply must. This game cannot end because I just get knocked trying to do a stupid bounty in the red zone. You know, I have things I want to accomplish in life, and dying prevents me from doing them. Fuck. I can, but like... Uh-oh. We're gonna go back across... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I Those guys are just kind of on their own. I hate to say it, but they are. I'm trying desperately to leave, but every time... Oh, no! Absolutely not! Why is this thing following me? Requesting fire mission. I'm water struck myself. Run through it. Throwing down my jug might actually be the only way to get out of here. I'm gonna get this guy again. Have fun, bud. Guys, the red zone is terrifying. The solo player, I gotta say, it's it's one of the scarier things I've ever gone into. Having said that, we're headed towards a bounty and a buy, and I would, uh, we're gonna go back in. It kind of feels like right now, I'm kind of capped at like, oh no, not the mercenaries. Anything but the mercenary. No, but seriously, guys, not cool. Beep up, boop up. We break glass, we run away. Random perv, what I get? I don't know. I'm just gonna kill the mangler because I fucking can. You're dead so quick. Hi, puppy. I feel bad about that. He was just a defenseless hellhound. It's another disciple, and I'm glad I'm not scared of them anymore. I mean, maybe this one's gonna be extra scary, but that's okay because my little nightstick has gotten extra better. What's up, you little shits? No way. That's actually absurd. A self revive? Amazing. Oh, you got one too? Don't worry, bro. I got you. What else did we get? Hello, friends. Wait, I got invited. Hello, friends. Oh, yes. Did they mark that? Copy. Let's get after it. I love you guys. Let's have some fun. Guys, I found friends to do the bounty in the red zone with me. I hope my kid stays asleep this whole time. I think they saw the uh, Pack-a-Punch level three, and they were like, yeah, we got to get this guy in here. He's He knows what's up. Oh, I do have a self-revive. I did just get one. Let's go. That's a W. 
I'm gonna trust that they're gonna come follow me. Right? Like, you're down. Oh, let's go. Luncheon Colgate seems to be the ringleader of this organization. But now he's, like, stopped, and I don't like that. Now, I'm sure I could just, like, ride their coattails while they finish this bounty. I don't want to do that, okay? I didn't come all this way to ride on somebody else's coattails. Also, zone's about to close, but let's see if I can pick this up before he does. Who's faster, huh? Oh, I don't have plates. Bad. Boop bop beep bop boop bop Rezzo Bounty finally doing it. I'm gonna fucking die. These motherfuckers gonna hit. Uh oh, I feel I feel incredibly unsafe. I mean, I can handle these guys one at a time. It's when they all decide to just gangbang me that. The fucking pack a punch. God damn. If they're going to the pack a punch. That's where I want to be. I don't want to be that far away from them, especially if they're like, I'm gonna die. Oh, I forgot I had that perk on. Honestly. Um. Damn it. Well, that escalated quickly. I have my crazy streak. But also, I have no plates. Uh-oh. My kids are waking up. I might wait for them out in the orange zone, then come back in and do it. If I can make it. Can I climb this ladder quick enough? I know they can jump, but I also have that perk on, so... Oh, it hurt me. Oh, I actually have to... Okay. Got it. I know what I have to do now. I actually have to dive. Like, yeah! Oh, it didn't work. That's actually very bad. This is all very incredibly bad. Yeah, I'm going into orange zone and waiting. Also, we only have 12 minutes to get the final x -Fil. Guys, I've made a pretty fatal error. I'm going to come again. I'm pretty upset because our bounty is a disciple. And I know the zombies can't swim, so I'm actually okay here. The storm is not coming in nearly as fast as I thought it would be. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Good news is we have a truck. Bad news is I have no idea how what shape it's in, like at all. So I want to grab that car that we just ran by. I was an idiot. Bottle. This is the restful. It's actually in great shape. It was in great shape. We're going to run out of gas no. here in a second, too. Or, or, yeah, we got critical no. damage. I don't know if I like trustees. Why don't we just go to like Final Exfil? There reaches a point in the game where you're like, yeah, you just gotta go to Final Exfil. You just gotta be the bunny rabbit on top of the car. Vibing out. I kind of trust this guy's driving, actually. We're going into the red zone, by the way. Do they know that? Not for long, but like, we're definitely in it. I feel like Rose on the Titanic. I'm flying, Jack. I'm flying. I got him, guys. Don't worry. Are there mystery boxes around here? What's up? I'm the bunny rabbit. I'm here to just destroy your world. I feel like a god. But somehow, like, because of a melee, because it's a melee weapon, like, you do end up taking a lot of plate damage. And my camera is just moving around. I'm not the one jerking all around. Kind of therapeutic, though, to just go around whacking people off. Yes, I know what I said. You heard me. I'm guarding the door. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Right on cue, guys. My kid is beginning to stir. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow.